All right, what's up everybody? This is my One Piece chapter 1055 review. Before we get into that, let's talk about last chapter real quick. All right, so Sabo has been named the Flame Emperor. That's his new moniker that he's going by. And he got blamed for killing Cobra, kidnapping Vivi. When that happened, it sparked revolutions, I guess, across the country, and different kingdoms are wilding out now. Shanks pulled up to Wano, and he said it's not time for him to meet Luffy yet. And then the scabbards are fighting Green Bull. Honestly, Green Bull looks like a broccoli topped Groot, but he is a broccoli topped Groot with Hashirama cells. Green Bull ate the forest forest fruit, so now he's the forest forest man. And he's putting hands on the scabbards right now. Momonosuke tried to hit the Boro breath, didn't work. The scabbards are trying to do what they can, but he is an admiral. So hopefully in this chapter, we can see how that goes. All right, let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do all the fun stuff. And let's talk some One Piece. Hey Ross, sauce it up. Piece, chapter 1055 a new age so the chapter starts with Momonosuke still sitting there fighting Green Bull and not letting Yamato try to fight at all like she keeps trying to fight he is not having it and then we got Raizo coming in with a fireball jutsu and it makes sense because you would think that like fire would like come on Pokemon logic like and for a second it like appears to work and green bull sitting there he's doing that ah oh no you got me and then instantly just just kidding so when i say a second i really do mean like it was only a second and then he just like curls a little root up and he stabs Rizo with it and then i guess that's what he did to like king and queen and he just sucks up all the nutrients out of him like if that's what he wants to do that's what he does and then the rest of the scabbards are all just really pretty much getting pieced up by Green Bull. And then it goes over to Robin and I forgot the king's name, Momonosuke's granddad. Yeah, Robin and him are sitting there talking about the pony glyph underneath and they popped up a, like, a secret tunnel underneath the secret tunnel to go even deeper into Wano. And as Momonosuke's granddad is taking him downstairs, he was like, be careful, there's mold everywhere. I haven't shown Kaido or Orochi this. And he says that he thinks they were able to find this place because they had a fishman. And then Robin's like, well, how does a fishman help? And then she looks off and she sees this light coming in. And they've been descending down these stairs for a while now, so she's just curious about it. And so then he was like, it's a window. You can go through it if you want, pretty much. And so then Robin, climbs through this little corridor to the other side and law just kind of pops up in there like and robin just looks at him like no fair so i could see the law robin agenda i'm cool with it like but once they get to see through the window they just see a completely submerged version of wano and robin says how is this place perfectly preserved like is that seawater and then Momonosuke's granddad goes on to explain how when the walls were constructed it just collected rainwater and it actually flooded out where Wano used to be so they just built another Wano on top of the mountain and this is where they show us the load pony glyph I think it's called load let me know if it's load or lodge I'm thinking load because road pony glyph load just let me know if I'm making sense one more and they get to go to laugh tale like they're almost to the final portion of this story well that makes sense but man it's crazy that they're already here and then it shows us how low they are and right next to it you could actually see the magma pit that kaido and big mom fell into and they're even lower than that and then momonosuke's granddad says and pluton's even further than where we're at down below but he can't look at them or nothing because if he goes to like check that's gonna like tear down the walls and if you tear down the walls 
it's gonna flood like all the islands near him and Pluton's gonna be released and it seems like Pluton is a giant and I'm getting very much like Attack on Titan vibes over here. That's just my opinion. But then from there, we go back to the scabbards fighting Green Bull. And Green Bull is still pretty much like piecing him up. And then Yamato's like, yo, let's just call Luffy and them. Momonosuke's like, nah, I can't do it because when you guys leave, essentially, we need to take care of Wano ourselves. And we need to show you guys that we could take care of Wano. And if you remember last time, Momonosuke tried to do the Boro Breath and it didn't work. But this time he did it and he actually like started hitting them with it and he started spamming it. And Green Bull, I guess he wasn't ready, but he got pieced up, like turned all the way down to a little seed. And then he just, he like regrew his whole body back from that. So he does, he's pretty much Groot from what I see. Groot, or if you like DC, Swamp Thing. He turns into his complete Logia form, looking like a bunch of broccoli. All right, so then the black lightning strikes and then Shanks is sending the black hockey lightning all the way from the ship to where they're fighting inside of Wano. And he's pretty much like, Green Bull, you're done. And then he was like, does the new age frighten you that much? And Green Bull just turned off. He's like, oh my bad, I didn't want the smoke. Dipped off. And then you learn, you find out this whole time that Zoro, Sanji, Luffy, and Jinbei were just sitting there watching the fight. So that means at any point in time, if they felt like the scabbards were in any type of danger, they were just gonna like jump in and stop it because they, they knew they could just handle it. So clearly I feel like Luffy is ready to do whatever he's about to do. This chapter was dope. Let me know what you guys thought of it. Come back next time for the next chapter and see what other videos I got. All right. Thanks for your time. And I hope to see you guys next time. All right.